interesting things happening this week and not necessarily just with me. Um, Ed has made a change. Shock horror, what's he changed? Well, you'll find out soon. Um, some of you will already know. <laughs> um, but yeah, Ed's made a significant change and I'm, from my point of view, the jaw is out on that at the moment, but you know, the car that he's moved on and the car that he's replaced it with, um, it's not up for me to have an opinion as to whether whether he's made the right choice or not. I currently, at this moment in time, haven't seen, let's say, face to face in the flesh, the new car. Uh, I definitely like the old car a lot more than, than in pictures than I do the new one, but the new one is definitely interesting. It's definitely got a lot of intrigue to it. So, you know, it could be the right decision. Who knows? I mean, it might even be a car that stays with Ed for the long term. Again, who knows? It is Ed. Um, I found out earlier this week that my new project, which is undergoing an engine swap before I pick it up, that work is due to start next week, so that's good. Um, I don't know when the co collection date will be, and again, the engine that is going into this car is a, it's a modest engine swap. So it's like, not a really shit engine, well not a shit engine, but a small, slow engine going out for a slightly bigger maybe you could argue significantly faster but then if you're starting with slow what an asshole if you're starting with uh with a slow low powered engine then percentage wise any upgrade's probably going to be significant um and it isn't going to be realistically the engine that stays in there it's not a it's not a hollywood engine it's not an engine that people are that interested in realistically um i may be wrong about that but you know, as as a start, we're, we're you know the work's going to start next week, and we're not far away from seeing the new beast on the channel. We'll see Ed's new beast first, and we'll talk about what that has replaced um, at some point in the near future too. So that's always good. Um, I've had a couple of moments driving this week where I've got seriously angry. Um, you know, being in the southwest. There are a lot of holiday drivers. Understandably, you know, I mean, Cornwall is a tourist uh, destination. Parts of Devon are. I mean, the fact that Torquay is referred to as part of the English Riviera is fucking comical. And I feel bad for every northerner that's fallen for that. Every person from up north, or the Midlands, who have gone, oh, to been told Torquay is amazing, it's the English Riviera, it's, it's gorgeous, and then they've gone there. Yeah, you know. I just, I feel sorry for you people, I really do. You know, not just because you're from north of where I'm from, because obviously, you know, as a, as a lot of you northerners uh, believe, everybody in the south is quite entitled. I think you're mixing the south generally with the southeast, but again, you know, that's what I'm trying to do here is alienate anybody from everywhere. So that's fine. Um, <laughs> but there's been moments of absolute rage. and. For me to get rage driving the Cube, as this is my only vehicle now, um, you know, this, this vehicle that has made me feel more chilled out and relaxed with driving, to, um, yeah, to be that angry driving this has been a slightly bizarre feeling. Um, not as much as people not understanding roundabouts, that's, that's always a bizarre feeling. Um, but yeah, there's, I mean, you know, people cutting off, people not looking and pulling out from the middle lane into the, into the faster lane. Um, middle lane hoggers, there's been a lot of that this week. And, you know, what are you doing? What are you doing, you fucking prick? Like that, that sort of thing. Just pull out in front of me. Uh, you know, all right, I didn't have to slam the brakes on. But at the same time, I did have to slow down. And that isn't what I wanted to do. Um, but yeah, like, there's been a fair bit of rage. Uh, that's just an example of it. A nice fair bit of rage. And I'm now at Ed's house because I'm picking him up because we're going to go and film a couple of uh, different video, a couple of different videos, different, yeah, different videos. That is right. Um, and uh, that'll be fun. That's what we're doing this evening. You know, um, we're, we're doing some filming. I mean, I shouldn't have to text him really, should I? 
you should be looking out for me. He knows the time. I'm slightly late, 10 minutes late. Um, you know, where is he? He's hurt his leg though. He's hurt his ankle and his, uh, and his calf. So that's not good, is it? That's a bit rubbish. But yeah, to be fair, this week's been minimal on exciting news and is maxed out on anger, rage, um, comedic undertone to that rage laughing at myself after the rage um and i've loved every second of it to be honest because i love driving this car so you know my daughter's been getting over chicken pox that was that was fun um <laughs> my boss uh, picked my brain about a new car that he was looking at buying and uh you know he asked my advice on wheels and stuff and that was really lovely um because he's not just my boss he's my friend and um if I can be of help, I understand offset to an extent and wheel sizes and, and how they're going to sit <laughs> within the arch. I say that, I mean, you know, yes, the wheels I've got on the cube are rubbing a little bit on the rear, but you know, a little bit is fine. It'll grind enough tire off and we'll be, we'll be loving life. So all good. Um, I was hoping that Ed would have realized I was here and he would have popped out limped down and got in the car and I could have finished the vlog with him sat here in a way that Ed would sit here you know he gets into the car really comfortably I wasn't going to say that he was going to be on camera oh, here he comes I'm not going to say anything looks like he's got a bit of a moustache going on Alan! You alright? What are you doing? Waiting for you. Alright. I've got in. Do you want to see the micro set? Yeah? I was going to show you, look. Just get in for a second. Why? Just get in. Are you on camera? Yeah. What are you doing? Those Find, stupid little, in the vlog. Those stupid yeah. vlogs that no one watches and they just want me to be uh, in the it core, as well. The core watch it. They always, there's always a comment that goes, why isn't Ed in it? Every single one. And if people want to go and look through <laughs> the comments right now, you'll know that's a lie. People are just <laughs> sick of horse face and just want a bit more roundness face. Yeah, it? I mean, I'm a cavalier and Ed's a round head. <laughs> Cromwell. <laughs> Oliver Cromwell. Oliver Cromwell. <laughs> Cromwell. Cromwell. How's your week, week been, Ed? Week. Week. How's your week been? I've got the same hair. I've got a bit of a moustache coming through. I know, I, I think it looks good, yeah. Um, I twisted my ankle yesterday at cricket, so I'm a bit aggy and I'm so in pain. So calf last week? It was calf the week before because I played two cricket games on the bounce and, and just destroyed me. Now, yeah. yeah. And but yesterday I went to take a catch like that and just went back and went off went because my legs are just old now they just gave way yeah so yeah they, I'm, a bit ag, I'm a bit aggy and yeah so and that's enough really what we filmed that's tonight's nice. going to be hella fun isn't it yeah I'm gonna be a bit short fused so watch the next video <laughs> <laughs> well on this video this yeah. vlog they have already witnessed me talking about having road rage this week yeah. and then getting severe road rage oh, no. as I came into here. But this is meant to be your happy place. Yeah. You shouldn't be getting um... I don't get happy anywhere now, I'm just angry all the time. But this would make you this car should make you happy. It, it should. Ever, yeah. It should. But right. I'd be angry if it jeopardised your happy place. That's probably what Yeah, it is. that's that's exactly it. Right, let's have a look at your micro. Cromwell. Cromwell. 